If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a word or a song, if I can show somebody he is trapped. Wrong, then my living shall not be in vain. God has given us all a purpose, and we thank God for those who have come into our lives and whose paths we have crossed. Brother Gabe Rivera has a great ministry. For many years, he was a missionary, a pastor, and now he has a ministry of, of restoring, of reaching uh, those whose lives have been broken by sin. It is such a privilege to have Brother Gabe Rivera speaking for us today. Brother Gabe. As I have reviewed my list of characteristics that God looks for in a partner, I take note that God looks for a person who seeks no praise. That's important. In our world today, we see men and women rushing to and fro in the church and outside the church, and they're all seeking approval. And, and that's not necessarily wrong, but to go beyond and seek at whatever cost, the praise of men. A great victory was won, but some could only criticize. In Judges chapter 8 and verse 1, Gideon was excited about what God had done. And it says, And the men of Ephraim said unto him, Why hast thou served us thus? that thou called us not us when thou wentest to fight with the Midianites. And they did chide with him sharply. God had just given a great victory. And all some could do is complain. Have you ever had such an experience? Perhaps your church has just received an unexpected blessing. The moving of the hand of God in your midst some soul that you've been praying for for years finally came to saving faith in Jesus Christ. And yet, not everybody embraces the joy. Gideon found a way to minimize what he had done and maximize what others had done because he sought no praise. In Judges chapter 8 and verse 2, And he said unto them, what have I done now in comparison of you? Is not the gleaning of the grapes of Ephraim better than the vintage of Abiezer? He sought no praise. He was part of the victory. He allowed himself to be a partner with God, but he was careful and sensitive to give God alone the praise and get out of the way. Remember that today. Let God be God. Let him use you for his glory. And then stand back and praise him and adore him. Fellowship with him in the joy of that which he has accomplished. We don't need the praise. Let God be God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. 
I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found was blind, but now I see. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.